Hey everyone, uh, I'm, in this video I'm going to show you how you can use Adastax to send a custom email verification uh, email to your users. Um, so uh, to do this uh, you will need actually a paid version of Adalo um, so that we can access the custom actions feature of Adalo. Um, and then also uh, you'll uh, need uh, to sign up for an Adastax account um, and you can actually do that. There's a free version of Ada Stacks uh, that you can sign up for and you can do this with the free version. Um, so real quickly um, I've got my kind of test app here um, and we're actually going to be adding the email verification template um, and once you're logged into Ada Stacks if you go over here to the build section um, you'll notice that over here there is a um, an option for email verification. I'm just gonna go ahead and open up the help guide for this. All right. Um, and you can see that here in this um, in this section here, you get a a nice uh, Mandalorian themed uh, example of what the the email will look like that's sent to your users, um, and then also what each of the inputs that we will create. Uh, these are all things that you can that you can change and customize. All right. Um, so uh, the first step here uh, before we get started is to make sure that actually in your Adastax account that you do actually have a verified email already added here. All right. So uh, one of the things that I'm going to do here is I'm going to add a verified email. And this from name here is actually going to be the name that you want to appear to your users. Right. So if I wanted this to be from, um, you know, me, Patrick Ford at Ada Stacks. The from email is going to be obviously the email that you're going to register. And this does need to be a legitimate email. You can't actually verify uh, Gmail or Yahoo or anything like that. Um, it will let you add it in Adalo, but you will never actually get the, the verification email uh, for you to verify this email. Um, and the reason that we need to verify an email with Adastax is so that we can give Adastax permission to send emails on our behalf from this email address. Okay. Um, so again, this cannot be Gmail, Yahoo, iCloud, Hotmail, AOL, none of those types of things. AOL. Does anybody even use AOL? I don't know. Um, the reply email here, this is totally optional, but this is the legitimate email that your users would be replying to. Um, if they were to, to reply to this email. Okay, I'm just going to go ahead and leave this empty and then click add here. Um, and you can see that now my, um, my email has appeared here for me to be able to use and actually send from. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go, um, once I've verified this, it will actually send an email to this email address and ask me to verify it and that email will actually be from uh, postmark is who that email is from. Okay so now that I have a verified email here let's go ahead and jump into this. I'm going to go back to my app and let's say that I want to send my users a uh, a welcome email right or maybe a, a code um, to verify that they are an actual that this is an actual email address. Um, so on this submit button what I'm going to do is actually create a um, an action here to we'll do a new custom action and let's go ahead and send verification code email all right and you can call this whatever you want um, we'll set the type to create and we'll hit next here and this API base URL, we're actually going to get from the Adastax documentation here. Um, and it's actually just this right here. So I'll just hit copy. And I'm actually just going to paste it right here in this, in this section. Now this is going to look a little bit crazy uh, because this URL is very, very long. But um, if you hang with me for just a second, we will uh, drastically reduce the size of this, all right? Um, the next thing that we need to do is add our inputs over here. So much like many of the other uh, Ada Stacks actions that we have or the stacks that we have, um, we'll go back to our guide. Um, and if you're ever confused about what those inputs need to be, uh, you can always find a table here in each of the, the stacks 
uh, in the guides uh, to help you out on you know a suggested name what type of input it should be and then also some suggested input values as well all right um, so I'm just gonna actually just start copying these and we will be pasting these I'm gonna create a text one here for this um, instead of new input we're gonna make this be the Atastax API key and this is going to be my actual API key. This does need to be uh, legitimate. So I can go to Atastax, my Atastax account, select this API key, and copy that. And I will just paste that right here. All right, so that's the first one. The next input that we need is just this email subject. So I will, again, copy this, create another text input, create the email subject here and really this can be anything that you want right um, you can make this pretty much anything okay that's the email subject the next one that we need is the from email and again this needs to be a verified email that you have verified in ADA stacks all right so let's just do this and we will do the one that we just added admin at adastacks.com all right so we've got our from email let's do our to email and again this this also needs to be a legitimate email that you can send to um, so that the email will actually go through right otherwise the email will bounce back okay it won't go through um, oops uh, so we will do this just to my personal email here infordmedia at gmail.com all right, the next one that we need is just our website URL. And this website URL is like your app, your app website, your company website, um, anything like that. All right. So we'll just paste this here. And just for the time being, I'm going to go, I'm going to make this adastacks.com. All right, and again, these are just test inputs, right? We're just creating some test data uh, to actually set up the action, right? Okay, so what is the next one here? So the logo storage URL, this is a very interesting one because uh, this actually needs to be the, um, the URL of an image um, that is stored somewhere that you own, right? So in our case, maybe what we would want to do is maybe go to the uh, Ada Stacks website, and you can do this on your website as well. Maybe I would want to um, to uh, save the image as, or um, sometimes you can actually view the image. So open the image in a new tab, and here is where the image is actually stored. So I'm just going to kind of copy this link here, and this would be my link that I would paste in here. So that's my logo storage URL. Um, let's see the next one. This is going to be the greeting. Oops. Let's go back here. We'll add another text input. And again, we're just we're just adding all of these uh, these things in here. Hello, friend. Seems like a good greeting. The next one here is just the instructions. Another text. All right, and this one is going to say. Uh, actually, let's say use the code below to log in. All right, and the next one is the code here. I'll go ahead and add this and you can actually set this as a text um, but you can use numbers in this field as well right obviously because it's a it's a code right so we'll just do one two three four five something like that all right let's go back here we'll do some optional instructions um, these this is actually the text that goes below the code so if you need to put you know thanks for signing up anything like that um, or you can just leave these out all together. You don't even have to send send this if you don't want to. Okay? You don't even have to include this input. You can just leave this out. All right. 
Um, okay, so let's do the salutation. This is like, a, you know, most people put sincerely or thanks or uh, something like that, something along those lines. Salutation. Uh, cheers. All right, we'll do the signature, and of course, this is who the email is from. Or you're you're putting in the email who it's from. All right, so your friends at Ada Stacks. All right, and we will do the company name. I know there's a lot here for the email one, but these are all very important things here. Company name, of course, is Ada Stacks, but you can put whatever you like here. Um, and then the last one here is just the company tagline. And you don't have to include this, um, but this is you know kind of fun to include. This actually goes below um, the company uh, name, and we can actually look at that in just a second as well. We make the best. All right. So there we go. We've got our uh, inputs made. Now all we need to do is just replace uh, the sections, the capitalized sections of the uh, of the link with those values. All right. So this is my API key. I'll just make this my Ada Stacks API key. This is the subject of my email. We'll just make that the email subject. The from email. This is going to be the from email, the to email, just the capital letters here. It's going to be the to email. Website URL is going to be the website URL. The logo URL. It's going to be the logo storage URL. The greeting is what we have here. All right. The instructions. See, this is kind of getting shorter and shorter. We don't have to, you know, scroll quite as much here. Uh, we've got the code here. The optional instructions. And if you don't include the optional instructions, any of these, you can actually just um, just leave that blank if you want to, right? Um, you don't even have to put the input in there. Salutation. Almost done here. Do the signature. Do the company name and the company tagline. All right. All right, so the method is going to be a post. And now we can run the test request here. Um, and one thing to note about AdaStacks is that uh, AdaStacks will always return a test successful in Adalo, um, which is why it's always extremely important to pay attention to the actual response of the message. Um, in addition to actually the action carrying out, right? I, w I should get an email telling me, you know, uh, with what I just tested. Um, but it is always good to test um, and look at the full response here um, and look for this message. If it's not here, it will be down in this full response. Um, and the reason that uh, it always shows test successful, even if it's even if it fails, is so that you can actually save this custom action and come back to it. Um, even if you haven't finished setting it up yet, right? That's one of the um, uh, cool things about AdaStacks is that uh, you can actually save a custom action in the middle of setting it up, have it not even completed, and then be able to come back to the action uh, to finish it later, all right? So I'll just go ahead and hit Save Custom Action here. And that's how we add the custom verification uh, email here. Um, so again, I would just fill these inputs here with my, you know, my AdaStacks key. Uh, I can make up an email subject here if I want. Um, and the nice thing about this is that I can then use this um, 
I can then use this uh, this action in any app that I make, right? So if you're a big studio and you make lots of apps, all you have to do is set up this custom action once, and you can use it in pretty much every single app from here on out. All right. All right. I hope that was helpful for you. Um, that's how you can send a uh, verification code email to your users. Um, I'll do another email where we, or another video rather, where we use this action and I will walk through how to set up the screens uh, to get the most out of how this email uh, works, right? Where you're asking them to then put in the code into the app to gain access to the rest of the app. All right?